Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from the Toasty Bros. And if you've been watching the videos I've been making recently, I've been making builds on Newegg at certain price ranges and helping you all decide what to build with your money. Now in this one, this one is targeted for the AMD fanboys out there. Because you know, there's little people out there who still rock those AMD FX processors regardless of all the Intel innovation that's going on. And they dream for the Zen architecture that's going to be coming out. And in this build right here, we're going to be doing the most AMD fanboys fanboy build that I can fathom creating at a price range of $1,700 approximately. But yeah, let's roll the intro. All right, guys, as I said in the intro, this is the ultimate AMD fanboy build. That's basically what we're going to call this. And we're going to jump right into it with the case. Now, the case is a Cooler Master Half 932 Advanced. It's a full tower case with a black and red color scheme. It has steel ATX build. It's very nice, has USB 3.0, uh, three 230 millimeter fan slots and a one 140 millimeter rear fan. Um, it has all the spots that we need for our air cooling and water cooling and all that sorts of cooling stuff. It has all the spots we need. There's a lot of room. It, it basically does the job as a case. Next up on the list we have the hard drive. And the hard drive for this build is a Seagate Barracuda 3TB hard drive. You can do this many ways. You can get a 2TB, 4TB, 5TB as many terabytes as you want to fit in your budget but with this build there's no budget because it's just focused on AMD fanboys so this build is three terabytes and what I also have with this is a boot SSD and now the SSD is very overkill it is an AMD SSD it, yes I said an AMD SSD it's AMD branded made by OCZ and it will basically fit this build like a glove because it is AMD and it fits the whole fanboy theme that we have going here Next up, we have the meat and potatoes of this build. First off is the processor. The processor is an AMD FX 9590, which basically is an extremely overclocked version of the 8350. I opted for the 9590 just because it's the most crazy processor AMD has right now. It's basically an 8350 that's just crazily overclocked to 4.7 gigahertz. You can get the version that is at 5 gigahertz. Um, this is the 9590 at 4.7. It's a little bit stabler, but you know, it's still going to need water cooling. Uh, you see how it says Vashira right here? It is liquid, liquid cooling required. You don't really see that much. It's a required liquid cooling uh, CPU. But it's pretty fast. It's comparable to most i7s. Um, I won't quote it for the newer i7s, but I know it's pretty equal to my 2600K. But this is the best AMD offers on the processor side. And when the Zen processors come out, you'll know for sure I'll be doing a definite build guide on that one. Okay, so we have the processor out of the way. Let's just jump right into the graphics card. And the graphics card is the best graphics card AMD has to offer, the R9 Fury. It comes with four gigabytes of hot, I think it's HBM RAM. Uh, it's very high density RAM. It works very well. Um, it's support for Crossfire and it's liquid cooled. It comes with its own little liquid cooler right here. And this is the XFX variation. Now, this is a very, very nice graphics card. You'll be playing 4K games. Uh, you can play all your iFinities and blah, 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 blah. All the crap that you really want to do with your gaming PC, you can do with this graphics card. At $659, you're getting a great card at a pretty reasonable price for what it does. Now, to cool this CPU, we had to get the Corsair Hydro Series H100i GTX Extreme Liquid Cooler. Now this is a really powerful liquid cooler and we needed that for this uh, 9590 which is a horse of a processor. It takes up so much heat and power, you're just going to need something that's going to tame the beast that is the 9590. So this cooler comes in at a whopping $109. Uh, not a really bad idea, um, it's not too expensive, it works really well, it looks nice, and Corsair makes very nice liquid block coolers, so it's a win and a good plus in my book. Now for RAM, we got some G-Skill Ripjaws 16GB of 1600 speed RAM. Now, it, it 
I got G, G Skill mainly because it has the red color scheme to it. And that's what I love about G Skill. They have the red color scheme. Works very well for basically an AMD centric build. Uh, as you'll see, the motherboard does the same thing. And it, it, just, it just flows very well with this. As I just said, the motherboard is an MSI Gaming 970. Uh, it's a gaming motherboard with USB 3.0 and all the features that you need. This is a motherboard that Jackson uses in his system with a 6300. It doesn't let him down and has great support for the 9590 as well. It's black and red, fits the AMD color scheme, and MSI produces some really, really high quality motherboards, so I totally recommend this for the build. And last but surely not least, for the build that we got a Corsair RM 1000 watt power supply. Now, this power supply is 1000 watt fully modular and it's gonna do the job. 1000 watts is a little bit overkill for this build, but with the power sucking 9590 and the R9 Fury, might as well just go with 1000 watts because you can definitely upgrade in the future. And since there is no budget on this build once again, it's a perfect choice to do. Now, we were going to go back here and look at the cart. The grand total is $1,694.91. There are certain things that you can do for sure. If you want to actually cut costs and you really don't care that much, remove that uh, SSD. You can drop it about 40 bucks, honestly, for a cheap SSD for 120 gigs. This is really overpriced. Uh, the processor, if you really didn't want this to be an AMD-centric build, go with an i7, and the R9 Fury is a really great card. You could pair that with an i7 if you really wanted to at this price range. And uh, for hard drive space, you could lower the terabytes if you want to, just like a one terabyte. Depends how many games you think you're going to have. The case works really well. You can swap out the case for many different types of cases. You know how cases work. And pretty much... That's all I can say for changes. This is a really solid system, and if you build it like this, you're going to have a nice red and black color scheme, and it's going to fit the lifestyle of the AMD fanboy. So thank you guys again for watching this video. If you would, be so kindly to leave a like and a comment below, suggesting some builds for your AMD fanboy lifestyle. And if you really could, please follow our Twitter. I want to get us to a, at least 100 followers by the time this video is uploaded. If you could follow us on Twitter in the, and tweet at me, I will enter you in a possible giveaway that I have coming up. This is a personal giveaway that I want to do, and it's probably going to be something very big. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter at the Toasty Bros Tech. I'll leave a link in the description below. All this stuff's always in the description all the time, so be sure to check it out, and I hope you have a wonderful day.